my beautiful soul family and how are you all doing? I hope that you had a great start of the week. And so before we start the readings, I just want to say that there's a new announcement on the Mondays now. Cancer, and Scorpio and Pisces came first in the contest of the two weeks. So now on Mondays, it will be Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. And tomorrow I will let you know for tomorrow which of the signs go second keep you in suspense a bit but it was beautiful and to see that everybody uh, participated in uh what if they participated into wanting their signs to go first and so cancers and scorpio and pisces are going first right now for the month uh, for this month for on mondays uh until i do my next contest again okay so now let's get started with the singing bowl um i will call upon archangel metatron to come through with the universal grid of love light and protection from the Holy Spirit. I will invoke Mother Gaia to be here to sustain the healing and reading and to keep us grounded. I will invoke Archangel, of course, Uriel, to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it. I'm going to call upon Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with intention. So let's get started. And you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is take a deep breath in, release to Mother Earth, okay? And I'll take care of the rest. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy of body, mind, and soul. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, protection, harmony, unity, balance, returning to good health, and abundance in any shape, way, or form. And so it is. this on the side there you go so uh fast fast i just want to say for, uh, that i want everybody here to embrace um my mom giovanna and i to, uh, we're all sending you both of us are sending you a lots of love and a virtual hug to everybody my mom says that she wants to thank you for all the messages she has been praying um more than usual at this time because of everything that's taking place on the collective so she's still praying for you three times a day and also for the collective as well. So if there's any messages, if you want to pray for other people or also for your own family, whatever it is that you want to pray for, leave them in the comments below and I will relay the messages to her. I want to say a big thank you for all your love and support, my beautiful family here. You are my family. Uh, you're my soul family, my family. Um, thank you for all the love and support, uh, especially for those of you that have been with me for a long time, the new subscribers that are here, my, also uh, my... Uh, my community of as well of 27 years a big thank you for letting me share my gift with all of you i just want to mention there is other healers uh, there's two people that i've um uh there's two people that i had uh, asked sorry <laughs> there's two healers that i mention all the time okay and it's underneath the video so for those of you that are looking for a healer uh, at this time I, i'm not providing that service but for those of you that are wanting a healing uh, a reading because I'm not providing any readings at this time. There is Corinne and Mark and everything is written underneath the underneath the video where you could go to their website and see what's happening and see what they do. For, and they've been doing this and they're very good friends of mine. But not only that, they're good friends. There's my soul brother, my soul sister, and I trust them like a thousand 
percent they are really amazing individuals okay so uh that's it and now let's get started with your readings hi pisces and welcome to your weekly reading this is from april 12 to the 18th 2021 i hope that you're all doing well yes you guys are on mondays the water element are now on mondays okay for the time being so you pisces cancer and scorpio are on mondays because you won and you wanted your your water element or your sign to come up first and so uh you are so uh anyways uh so let's get started with your reading so we're gonna look at oops sorry about that <laughs> we're gonna look at your affirmation my beautiful um uh, pisces i hope that you're all doing well I hope that, like I said, you had a great start of the week, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you for all the beautiful messages that you're leaving towards me, my family, my fur babies, and of course, uh, you know, uh, for my mom as well. So let's get started to see what's happening here for you, for Pisces. Okay. What is your affirmation of the week? Oh, okay. Let's see what that is. You got honesty. Honesty. And your affirmation is, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And then we're going to look into uh, what the universe wants to tell you. Here we go. And you got never give up on something you really want, Pisces. Never give up on something that you really want. And look at this. <laughs> There's fish on the card. <laughs> the universe has a nice sense of humor. Now we're going to take out my new cards, which is, uh, these are called moon Moonology. This is uh, like uh, messages uh, from the moon phases, like the new moon, the old moon, the old full moon. Uh, and so, uh, did I say the old moon? Sorry about that. The old and the uh, new moon, the full moon, and other phases of the moon. And just to see what is your energy with that. This is for Pisces. Okay, you got a few cards that came out here. And let's take a look at them together. You have three cards that came out. The first one is Meditate and Contemplate. And this is the new moon in Pisces. So it's about meditation and contemplating at this time. Okay, so so uh, Piscean energy here, my beautiful Pisces. And then you got, it's time to take action. This is the new moon in Aries, which is coming up for you right very soon. I just don't have the date today. Uh, but uh, the new moon in Aries, check that out, okay? And I'm sure there's something there for you. This is about taking action. It's time to take action. And they said, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, this is a full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan, Pisces. Okay, so now let's get started with your reading. Oh, yes, wait a second before I even forget. I'm going to take a card from also Mother Gaia. A few cards from Mother Gaia to look at the numerology and what is has to be said. With the card, what, what's in store for you? Pisces. Pisces. From April 12th to the 18th. One, two, missing one more card. Okay, so you have apprehension, apprehension, and this talks about um, moving on to the world and there's doubt and fear. This could be for some of you, maybe a relationship that you want maybe to move along from or a job or a situation in your life. Okay, 
And so the, it's a number 18. The 18 becomes a 9. So there's completion here in this situation. Then you got number 14, which equals to a 5, which talks about changes. This is about purification, fire energy. The moon in Aries, also fire energy, you know. And it's about bare essentials, the naked truth and wholeness. So I see a lot of changes that are going to be taking place for you, Pisces. And last but not least, you got number 40, which is a 4. And talks about the angels being around you. It also talks about stability. But this card also talks about yin and yang. It's about creating harmony through balance. Okay, so creating harmony through balance. Beautiful energy. And so now we're going to get started with your reading. Okay, this reading is for Pisces Sun. And anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. Uh, if the reading doesn't uh, resonate with you whatsoever, look at your ascended sign, which is your rising sign. Look at your moon, which is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And don't forget about your north node. That's your soul purpose or, yeah, your soul purpose or your path or your path, you know, or your soul purpose. I'm sorry. I know I'm repeating myself today. It's just that type of energy today, okay? So please bear with me. Um, and also if the reading you do, uh, you know, you resonate with the reading, claim it a thousand percent without a doubt. So I'm going to show you now where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on your recent past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what's being hidden from you. And I'm also going to show you a possible future. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify for you. The cards are ready. We're going to cut them in three here. And let's get started with your reading, Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to use my spray. This is energy clearing spray. Some for you and some for me. So let's get started with your reading. Overall energy, you got the world reversed. Unfinished business. Something did not come full circle yet in a situation. Where you're at is the Queen of Swords reversed. Now, this you could be dealing with an Aquarius sleep or a Gemini or someone in the energy here because I work with energy and frequency. I don't work with signs in the, uh, like other people do. But in energy, this is someone here that's not seeing something clearly. Someone that is in their mind about something. Something they're, it's blocked. It's like in their mind about something. Not, no, maybe there's uh, not be able to communicate. Someone cut off somebody here. It could be many things, okay? Uh, and what's crossing you is the Queen of Pentacles reversed. It's uh, about not having stability. It could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Uh, this could be one person. This could be you in energy. At this time, you're not feeling stable in a place that maybe you've been working at. Uh, you're not uh, having creative ideas. You're not. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of factors here. This could be like uh, cutting out somebody, someone uh, you know that you know that is uh, not seeing things clearly, not come, not seeing things clearly in a situation and uh, some type of unstableness. But we're gonna get behind this, okay? Afterwards. What spirit wants you to focus on is, is this Ace of Pentacles. There's some type of money coming in here or some type of aid coming in to help you along the way. This is a gift. In the recent past till now, you got the Ten of Swords reversed, okay, where the, the, the something did happen in the past for you, Pisces, where you went through something really hard, very terrible, okay? It's been obstacle, obstacle, but uh, this has been already released from you and there is light at the end of the tunnel. What's crowning you is the Seven of Pentacles, so you're reevaluing everything at this time. And maybe you're cutting off people. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye to people anymore. Okay. And you're not feeling, you're feeling uncertainty, maybe in a situation, in a career, in your, in your love life, whatever the situation is for you. And you're going to be at crossroads. 
in the um what they're showing me here is that in the possible future you have the two of swords reversed and this is good card when it's reversed the two of swords talks about where um you you um remove the veil from your eyes you're seeing beyond the illusions around you and it's about opening up that heart chakra and making a decision that's been lingering with you for a while now what i'm seeing here what's supporting you is the three of wands okay is there something long term that's coming in for you here uh, long-term goals or plans that you're having and waiting for them what is being hidden from you is temperance okay patience is needed in this situation now for some of you this could be now that's happening or in december of 2021 and in the hopes and fears you got jupiter coming in jupiter here in the hopes and fears okay there's something that's coming to you that's destined second chances are taking place here for you Something is destined, something is faded, it could be luck, okay? But it's a beautiful card to get. And the possible future, you got the Ace of Swords upright. Which the Divine is coming in is to clear, you see? There's all the fog here. It's coming in to clear everything from you. It's clearing the Queen of Swords energy, okay? That's reversed. It's about seeing things, things that you couldn't see before. It's about knowing, it's about also a lot of a lot of communication taking place the truth and nothing but and it's about uh creative ideas as well so now we're gonna clarify the cards for you to see what's going on i'm just gonna shuffle the cards three times and see what's happening here for you Cards are ready. And let's look at the world reversed here. Why is the world reversed? We've got the Knight of Cups reversed. You got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And again, you got Temperance. Patience is needed in a situation here. Okay, it takes a lot of patience. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Whatever the case here is that there's someone here that is not emotionally available coming towards you or no, or this could be you and energy too that's not taking the initiative to uh, maybe share your love or to plan something or to plan a dream. Whatever it is that you want to put energy into at this time with the world reverse is showing me that you or whoever this person is is not doing this and patience is needed because moderation is needed in your life or in a life here this is a not just moderation of your life but body mind and soul okay and it's about a lot of you have been asking for divine intervention as well okay but it's all about patience okay so now let's look at the queen of swords reversed So you got the six of wands reversed. The five of cups reversed. The queen of pentacles reversed again. So uh, for some of you here, there was also a tower moment in the past here. It showed me that you got a tower moment. So the divine came in to clear everything. This is Pluto energy. Bang. Unexpected change took place. Okay. Maybe you're angry about a situation. Maybe some of you lost a job or a position or something. Or there's some type of uncertainty in a relationship. Okay. Something that was not successful. And uh, again, with the Queen of Pentacles, someone that was not stable here in a situation. But with the Five of Cups reversed, it means that a lot of you have let go. Okay. Maybe this happened 10 months ago. 10, 10 weeks ago, whatever it is, okay, uh, it happened in the past. Something took place here with the tower moment. Uh, there was unexpected change. With the fire cups reversed, it means that you let go. You let go of the resentment, the hurt, and you saw a silver lining in a situation. And there is going to be closure for this. So I do see closure here that's coming for you, okay? Now let's look at the Queen of Pentacles reversed and what's crossing you right now. You got the Knight of Swords reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed and the Devil reversed. Capricorn energy. Okay. 
You know, uh, what I see here is uh, very simple. Someone dropped something here, whether it was you or them, you or vice versa, okay? Normally, the Two of Pentacles means a lot of things. It means, uh, okay, that you're multitasking, you're trying to bring something into balance, and there's a need to be grounded here. Someone dropped something where they're focused on one thing, okay? Uh, with the Capricorn energy, okay, this is Saturn energy as well. There's some type of freedom that's taking place here, or can also be a divorce for some of you. That's something that did not work out. But there is freedom from toxic, from fears, from addictions, whatever it is. And again, seeing this, okay, for me, there's three knights here. The knight of pentacles, the knight of cups, and the knight of uh, swords. There's no action taking place, no communication taking place in a situation here. But there is some type of freedom, okay? So let's look at the ace of pentacles. <clears throat> And what spirit wants you to focus on. Because I do see some type of gift or money that's going to help out over here. So the Ace of Pentacles. you got the Seven of Cups reversed. you got the Strength card. you got the High Priestess card. And you got the Empress card. Very good energy. Whatever this is, okay, there's new opportunities taking place here for you. This could be about you being fertile, new opportunities, having that minus touch, okay? The Empress energy, what she does is she manifests her dreams, okay? She does a lot of work in getting that. And she just waits and she makes things come to her. Something is coming in here with the Empress energy. You need to trust your intuition here, okay? Because there is a secret at hand. Maybe a universal secret, okay? And it doesn't have to be bad, okay? Me, I think that this is a very, it's very, very positive, okay? Very, very positive. With the Seven of Cups reverse, it's... uh. What uh, is that you're not going to be confused, okay? There's not gonna be this energy of being confused or having too many options here. And with the strength card, this talks about a beautiful healing that's taking place. It's about you having confidence in yourself, having the strength, feeling better, okay? And there is something coming in for you. There's a lot of new opportunities here, I see, that's taking place and a beautiful healing. Now, let's look at the Ten of Swords, in reversed in the recent past why is this ten of swords here in the recent past you got the queen of cups energy you got the page of cups the, the magician you got the elephant and you got the star card beautiful energy here okay this could be you, my beautiful Pisces, very nurturing, loving, very psychic energy, or you're dealing with another water sign or someone that has these beautiful qualities. And it's about a new emotional experience. When you, uh, when there's like light at the end of the tunnel, there was a new emotional experience. This could be a child for some of you. Whatever this is, there's a new emotional experience that took place for you in the recent past year. And you've been manifesting this, okay? So because you have all the tools to manifest all your heart desires, there's also, you got the star card, Aquarian energy, okay? This is about a dream come true here that's taking place. Yeah, the star card is very simple. You wished upon something, it's coming true. It's that cliche, I know, but this is what the card means. And it's about restoring faith and hope in the situation. And you got the Hereford, which is about, uh, could be about a marriage. It doesn't have to be just about a marriage. It could be about an institution place. It could be about uh, you learning your life lessons, and coming and, and going to like in graduating, like you're graduating in the level of consciousness here. Okay. You've been studying about something. You've been studying a lot of studying, writing, reading. Okay. And uh, something that, uh, that took place for you. It was a blessing in disguise. This is what spirit is telling me. Now, what is crowning you? Is the seven of pentacles. So, you know, you're re you're contemplating everything at this time. You're looking how far you've come, you know, in, in maybe in your a job, in your money, in your investments, in love, whatever it is, okay? But you are crossroads here. You got the knight of wands energy. You got the knight of wands. Wait. You got the ace of swords reversed still. Okay, there's some okay, there's some type of action that's being taking place here. Okay, you got the seven of pentacles, the knight of wands, and revelation. Okay, the judgment card. So it's a revelation. There's a judgment here that's coming. There's change coming. For some of you, this is change of residence. Okay, or some type of action, or someone's coming in, right? With that, like with action, adventure. 
And uh, what I do see is uh, two stories here. I also see for those of you that were involved with a Virgo, if you were involved with a Virgo where you had a fallout with the Virgo since August or September of 2020, they're just coming out of the Hermit stage. They're just coming out of the dark night of the soul. And they're still not going to be clear on what they have to do at this time because they're still clouded in uh, their information or uh, not, they're not, um, not, there's not, they're not able to communicate at this time. Okay. They're just like just coming out of the dark night of the soul. Now, <clears throat> for others of you, someone near Istik is coming out of the hermit stage, but someone here is not seeing something clearly, okay? But again, you got the Ace of Swords upright, so there will be some type of communication. But at this moment, this is what it is. Now, let's look at the Two of Swords reversed in the possible future. We got the King of Swords upright, the Page of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, basically, here it's showing me that. Uh, this two of swords reverse, this could be you in energy with the king of swords where you're going to see things very clearly. Okay, a lot of clarity. You might feel aloof. Okay, this could be you in energy or you could deal, be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or Gemini or someone that is very like intelligent. There's a lot of intellectual, a lot of communication, very straightforward. It's also an old soul. I see this as a person as an old soul because they have their intuition is intact and it's like when they make a decision, they make it with their heart and mind. Now, this could be you or vice versa with someone. But... I do see someone here, uh, I do see an energy around you that uh, someone here is not coming in to offer you. There's some type of offering, some type of offering that is, I feel like they're like watching you from afar. I don't know who this message is, but this is what Spirit says. Someone's watching you from afar. It doesn't mean that they're stalkers in that way, in a bad way. Just like uh, they, they, they're getting insights, you know, clarity on or confirmations you know, or they're probably like watching videos like on YouTube to see what you're thinking and doing or whatever. But that's what I'm picking up here. And, and they're not coming in with an offer or an apology for some of you. <clears throat> something will be revealed 100%. 100% something will be revealed to you. But you did get the Five of Swords energy. And I do feel that uh, <clears throat> this person or this could be you or the person you're dealing with or whatever the situation here is someone does not have someone's highest back. Okay, someone does not have their back here. Uh, this is about taking a stand, okay, and uh, not participating in this type of energy. Uh, it could be lies in the situation, but something will be revealed to you 100% within this new moon that's coming in for you. So I'm going to take another card for the Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords about? Or it could also be you that you're thinking that people are out to get you as well, okay? But something will be definitely revealed to you. Okay, yeah, lover's energy, Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini energy here. Okay, uh, this could be a union that's not together at this time or some type of decision that will have to be made. <clears throat> now, let's look at the three of wands and what's supporting you at this time. You got the moon, Neptune and Pisces. Twice you got the moon card. The seven of wands reversed and the four of wands reversed. You're waiting. Some of you are waiting from someone from your past and they're not coming in. They're going through a dark night of the soul. They came out of it, but they're still not 100%. Uh, 100%. So some, someone is waiting for someone from their past, 100% here. Uh, <clears throat> or this could mean that all, uh, that situation at hand here is that uh, some of you feel that you're not going to overcome the situation. And with the four of wands reversed, there's a lot of drama and fighting in a situation here. Unhappy home, unstable in a home, not being able to buy a home, not being able to sell a home. But there's something about not that this celebration or whatever that has to take place at this time is not taking place. And why? With the Neptune and Pisces, okay, it's about deceptions, illusions, distortions. It's about not seeing something that's there. Okay, um, um, 
you know, fears, okay? You're going through a passage. You're going through, like, as if you're going through a cocoon stage where you're not seeing. It's like, a, it's like you know, they place you in the dark with no lights, and you have to walk through it, and you have to, like, guide yourself. Let's say it's a long stretch, you know, that you have to go through without lights. <clears throat> you have to see. You have to feel. You have to hear. You have to understand. So this is what's taking place. But at the same time, the, there's something here that's going to be re revealed to you, and it's been showing to me three times that you're going to get revelation on this situation okay so now <clears throat> well maybe you're dealing with another pisces now let's see the temperance card and what's being hidden from you so it said about it's about that be patient in a situation there's you need to be patient here with <clears throat> i got the justice card reversed because it's flipped the ten of cups reversed and the two of swords so <clears throat> There's, there's, there's 100% there's a mirroring here, okay, between two people. Uh, there's someone here that's uh, going through a tough time, <clears throat> in difficult moments. Someone is coming out of the dark night of the soul. It's not seeing things clearly. They think that people are still going to, they're out there to get them, okay? There's no offer coming in, in a sense, if it's, uh, because I do see some type of closure from the past here. Closure, okay? There is closure. But again, they're asking you to be patient with this situation at hand because with the justice card libra reversed okay this is about lies and deception okay and the truth is not here yet for you uh something has to come into balance here and again they're showing me the ten of cups reversed and the two of swords there's a there's someone has to remove the veil from their eyes and really open up their heart chakra okay and i feel that there's one of you is in here that is not ready <clears throat> to see beyond the veil of the illusion and is not able to make that decision at this time so uh with this ten of cups uh because i do believe that uh, there's a delay okay and someone needs to remain patient in the situation now you've got the wheel of fortune and the hopes and fears because there's a second chance here you got the knight of uh wands reversed you got um the death card reversed scorpio energy and you got the King of Cups reversed, uh, upright. So what it's showing me here is that there's a second chance taking place in a situation. Okay, this is also something that's destined, it's fated to come in together. Um, someone here is going through a humbling experience with the King of Wands reversed. The King of Wands reversed, when they're reversed, it's like they're not in their ego anymore. Uh, they're really humbling themselves. But at the same time, Scorpio energy, there's resistance to change. They have a lot of fears here. But what they're showing me is that this person will be, a, this person is working on themselves, whether it's you, vice versa. Uh, they're working on them themselves where they could be stable. They could be able to communicate and they're going to be emotionally available here. But patience is needed in this situation. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the Ace of Swords in the possible future. You've got the Four of Wands, uh, Four of Swords reversed. The chariot, and the four of one, uh, of pentacles. So yes, you're gonna get communication clear. Everything is gonna clear away. A lot of creative ideas, the truth, energy. Someone's gonna come out of a break or time of the heal, whereas there was some type of break or healing that took place. Someone's gonna be coming out of that. Uh, but I still feel that someone is still holding back their true feelings here. And with the cherry river, uh, upright, it's showing me that uh, Cancerian energy, that someone here is going to take control of a situation and move forward with willpower. This is positive news. It's positive outcomes. It's about positivity. And it's about taking control and uh, going forward in a situation. And underneath the deck, you got the 10 of wands energy it's been obstacle obstacle over obstacle in this situation it's been very difficult you're very tired but you're almost there you're almost there because the 10 becomes a one and that's going to be a time that you are going to something is going to be like released from your back where you've been carrying the world on your shoulders okay now don't forget that you know you do have good cards as well okay you got remember what spirit told you right okay beautiful healings taking place about having the strength the courage the self-confidence 
There's a lot of new opportunities coming for you. Okay, don't forget about that. Okay, having the mind is touched. Trust your intuition. You are old souls. Trust your intuition because there is some type of gift or money that's coming towards you if this has to do with finances. Okay, and don't forget also, you also received here, okay, uh, you know, um, you received the star card with uh, the elephant and the magician energy. Very strong energy as well. And of course... You also got the Ace of Swords upright with the Chariot upright, right? This is very good news to come, okay? So this could also take place, if it doesn't take place now, in June of 2021, all right? So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And don't forget, you need to have patience in this situation. Patience is required, Pisces. So now let's look at the crystals that you will need for... between the April uh, 12th to the 18th of 2021. Pisces, what crystals do they need? Okay, let's look at that together. You got Phantom Quartz, Embrace Change. Embrace Change. And you got Smoky Quartz, Let It Go. Let It Go. So you got Phantom Quartz, which is Embrace Change, and you got uh, smoky quartz which is let it go so if you are looking for crystals underneath the video there is two links of websites for crystals under my name that you can get 10 to 22 percent off go check it out because they're really beautiful crystals if you do need the phantom quartz and the smoky quartz these are the crystals that you will need for as long as you need them now we're going to look at the sacred geometry Okay, let's see what's in store for you. You got number 27, which is a nine again, completion here, nine, nine. And you got the 528 frequency. So you go on YouTube, you put 528 frequency, and uh, I listen to Meditative Mind. And there's also another person, Jason something, Stevenson, that's also good as well. Uh, and there's uh, this is about transformation and miracles transformation and miracles that are taking place this is also about your solar plexus as well and taking back your power and the next one you got is number 48 it's about creation and number 12 and number three and it's about wisdom it's about gaining a greater insight that's coming in for you some of you your your animal totem is the owl nice energy and now we're going to take a few cards from uh, Ask Angels and the Romance Angels. All I want you to do, Pisces, is ask a question. Any question you want to ask, the uh, angels will answer you 100% accurate, okay? Uh, if I didn't answer something in the reading for you, you probably could get them through here. Pisces. I usually take out six cards. Sometimes a bit more come out. Okay. You got your cards. So I got the Romance Angels here. I'll put these on the side first. I'll do these first for you. But you got a lot. And you got three also. Okay, remember, everything's in divine timing, okay, Pisces? So the first card you got is Unrecruited Love. And this talks about there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. The next one you got is It's Safe for You to Love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of, of, uh, of all. Okay, so It's Safe for You to Love. Then you got finances and career. 
Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Next one you got is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by the religious upbringing and spiritual path. You got also deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. It doesn't have to be just a relationship. It could be also a friendship. It could be a co-worker. It could be anything, right? And last but not least, you got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Pisces. Now you got, let's look at the Ask Angels. You guys ask for, uh, so the Ask Angels you, here it says, unlikely, unlikely. Get more information and a peaceful resolution. Peaceful resolution. Beautiful. So now, uh, yes, let's take a card from um, Archangel Michael here. To, to see what your prayer is. Pisces. There we go. A favorable outcome. And your prayer is, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Thank you, Archangel Michael, and amen, and so it is. Now we're going to take out uh, a few cards from um, the White Light Oracle, where I will give you a I'll choose it. I will give you, I will read you a small passage and then give you a healing. I don't know what's wrong with me. My, I'm tongue-tied today. It feels like it's Mercury retrograde for me today. Okay. Pisces. got two cards i'm just going to get my glasses give me a second you know sandy she's sleeping all the way in the corner <laughs> okay so let's take the book and you got two cards so i will read you the two passages but then i'll let spirit choose which healing that he wants to be done here okay so we got number six here and we got shikina shikina or Shekinah. I think it's Shekinah. So number six. The six talks about prosperity. So let's look at the six here. All right. This is your card, and this is your message. The spiritual worlds want to help you resolve your worldly concerns. It is safe for you to rely on spirit as a loving, protective, helpful, and practical presence able to positively affect all areas of your life, including the resolution of physical problems. Do not limit your spirituality to co concepts. Instead, apply your higher knowledge and principles, grow your wisdom, and live your path. Acknowledge your value as a person, as a soul. Treasure the gift of your path, and let your spirituality integrate with all facets of your life. Beautiful. And the next one is number 25, and it's Theta of Venus. Okay. This is your message. Attune yourself to a higher consciousness by choosing to access the purest fre frequencies of love within. Acknowledge lower frequencies such as judgment, fear, doubt, or shame when they arise within or around you, but do not give them a foothold in your heart. You are ready for a higher understanding to see things in a new and more positive light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual life path. And so we're going to choose this one to do the healing with. Okay, perfect. There's going to be a uh, repeat after me. So I'm just going to take some water. Okay. So. So for those of you that want to repeat after me at the end, you just say, so be it. Um, and So place your hand on your heart and let's say the following prayer together. I will read it very uh, slowly at the first time. 
and then I repeat it twice to send the transmission as well to everybody. So I call upon the spiritual guidance which loves me unconditionally and the higher guiding angels of Venus and Theta that I may experience through grace, mercy, and compassion that which is most beneficial to my well-being for the greatest spiritual good of all sentient beings. And so it is, or so be it. I'm going to do this again. I call upon the spiritual guidance, which loves me unconditionally, and the higher guiding angels of Venus and Theta, that I may experience through grace, mercy, and compassion, that which is most beneficial to my well-being for the greatest spiritual good of all sentient beings. And so it is. Amen. It is now time to go through a re relaxation process. You can do this in whatever way it works for you, but you may like to use vi visualization and your breath to imagine you are softly and gently letting your mind settle into your body and your body settle into the earth. As you relax, feel increasingly still and rest your awareness in the present moment. Let your awareness continue to settle and rest deeper within, rather than focusing on what is happening around you. You may be aware of sounds, for example, but as you turn your awareness within, they will have less effect on you. You are neither fully alert nor fully asleep. You can be aware of the world around you, yet focused on nothing in particular. Impressions will come and go, rest, drift, and be in this in-between state of being, for as long as you like. When you had enough of this experience, ground yourself with some physical movements. You may not realize how far you have drifted out of everyday awareness until you begin to return to it. Take your time to ground yourself fully. You have completed your healing process. So Pisces, um, th thank you for all being here. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and I love you. Everything will pass. Everything will be okay. And remember, remember one thing, love always wins always. So I'll see you next week. Please take care. Bye.